So this is just gonna be a really quick video on how to install multiple versions of the Creative Cloud. And this is especially helpful if maybe you're preparing for industry certification and you know that the exam uses a particular version of the software or recommends it. That's probably gonna be going away soon once uh, tech companies can figure out, the examination companies can figure out how to make the exam automatically update with the newer versions of the software. Probably happening soon with the live in the app versions from Certiport. But let's just kind of talk about what happens if you update the software and you realize, oh no, it's a little bit different. I just want to practice in the version that's recommended and used in the exam. So to do that, I'm going to just go down here and type in Creative Cloud. Well, I just typed in Create and it kind of opened up. And you can see that I've got Photoshop CC installed. And what I want to do is choose this down arrow here and go to Manage. And from there, you can see that I can uninstall or choose other versions. And here I can see all of the versions that are available to me all the way back to CS6, which is kind of cool actually with the Creative Cloud subscriptions that you can go back that far and install any one of these versions. I generally like to operate with the newest version of the software, but I do know that the CC18 exam used one of the 19 dot versions of the software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install that alongside my Photoshop CC19 version of the software. So you can see that it's installing, it's making it a separate install. So now I'm going to have two different versions of Photoshop available on my computer and I'll be able to choose which one I want to work in. I'm just about to record the CC18 version of our tutorials at ACA Test Prep or Brand Buffet. We're kind of shuffling things around, so I'm not sure where all those will actually reside. And what I like to do in my tutorials these days and teachers, I recommend this as well if you teach this software in your class, is that I'll start in one version of the software and then halfway through the semester, I'll just tell the kids, okay, so switch, we're going to go to version 20 now and just kind of teach them and model how do you make adjustments to multiple versions of the software or an updated version of the software. Because software these days just updates so fast, it used to be every two years, and now it's every six months. So it just moves so much faster. One of the most important skills that we can help our kids have is the ability to make quick adjustments to their software and changes that happen with updates. So generally it kind of intimidates teachers more than it does students, but I just found that in my classroom, it was really helpful to just generate a culture of curiosity and exploration. And so we'd update the software and I'm like, all right guys, just poke around with it for today and tomorrow and let's just see what the new features are. Anybody that shows me the coolest trick, I'll buy you a soda at lunch or something like that. So it was just kind of a fun way to just engage with the kids and, and help model uh, how to ask questions, how to do a search, how to find you know, information about new updates. So there it is, the software is installed and you can see now I have both versions available. If I go to my start menu and I type in Photoshop, you can see that I've got both CC18 and CC19 available. So that's all there is to having multiple versions of the Adobe software installed on your computer when you're using Creative Cloud.